In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I set up my BNT APC223 rifle for three guns. Hey everybody, Sean Burrows with BNT USA. I've gotten plenty of questions about all the changes I've made to my APC223, getting it ready for three gun competition in 2020. So I thought I'd walk you through it from back to front. We have the TAC Mod Precision Rifle Stock. It's a little bit heavier, provides great balance to this robust rifle. And what I like about it particularly is its adjustability. If you haven't watched my video on this particular stock and how I install it on the APC223, I suggest you check that out. I'll link to that in the description below. Moving forward, we have the Duke Defense rear offset 45 degree iron sight. And of course we have a front sight as well to accompany that. And this is for the division that I choose to shoot more often than any others tactical or practical division depending on the match and the rule set it allows me to go from using a magnified optic on a target that's far away and transitioning quickly to up close cqb style paper that's right in front of me rather than waiting to dial down Next up, I've installed an HB Industries right side safety delete. This is just a tiny little nub that you replace the right side safety lever with, and it just makes it easier for my big fat hands to get around this otherwise really um, pronounced safety lever that comes with a gun in its factory configuration. So I have no need for an ambidextrous safety in the kind of competition shooting that I do, so I removed it. Then of course I have the Elfman Tactical Match Pro SE flat trigger, tuned down to two pounds. Um, this thing's awesome. There are a couple of videos about how I install this on this particular rifle and why I choose it. I encourage you to check those out as well. I will link to those in the description below. As far as magnified optic goes, uh, for 2020, I'm just using the Vortex Razor Gen 2 1 to 6. I've been using it for a number of years now. It's uh, one of those things that if it isn't broken, why fix it? With an MK machine throw lever on it, really helps me dial from 1 to 6 or anywhere in between rather quickly without having to actually grab the optic. It's a nice big fat throw lever that works with even my hands. Now, even though BNT Swiss engineering is magical, it's not annoyingly over proprietary which means this rifle just takes gen 3 p mags and on my p mags i have the mbx base pads these allow me to easily pair up the mags or unpair them in any configuration i need uh, this is a 40 round p mag with a plus five base pad on it i can get 46 rounds into this quite comfortably and this is usually the configuration i start with if i'm going to have to go prone or get into weird kneeling positions I'll use a 30 round or even a 20 round mag or two 30 or 20 round mags paired up. On the support side, I have an enlarged HB Industries charging handle. This does reciprocate while I'm shooting it, but since I hold the gun up here, it doesn't really get in my way and it doesn't really bother me. Also having it right here by my support hand makes it really easy to charge should I need to ever reload on the clock. And then you'll notice that the handguard here looks a little bit different than other handguards on APC 223s. I had Culper Precision machine off the pick rail on the top and the bottom, and we replaced it with M-Lock slots. We have a little bit of pick rail on the front so I can put my Duke Defense offset iron front sight there. And then we machined out bigger slots just to lighten this thing up a bit. And it added just that extra bit of balance to the gun that I felt it needed. Last but not least, I've got the Jerry Michalik Competition Compensator. It helps the gun that shoots already very, very, very flat shoot even flatter. We've experimented with the gas key with different loads between my long range and my CQB loads, and it just helps the gun tune down just enough to be able to shoot the way I need it to shoot in 3-gun. And I'm really happy with this configuration, so much so that I'm going to be adapting it to a uh, shorter barrel version for uh, base style only stages. So if you have any questions about this particular setup, I'm more than happy to answer those. Just leave a question in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Again, I'm Sean Burrows and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. 
I was serious about subscribing. I've got more videos coming on the modifications I've done to my APC-9, the APC-10, the APC-308, and other fun Swiss-made guns. So you don't want to miss it. Just subscribe.